up? What's going on, guys? Moose78 here, and today I'm going to start bringing my uh, playthrough of the Battlefield 1 campaign. Played through a little bit. I uh, got through uh, the first one here, through Mud and Blood, and I got to say, I really enjoyed it. Uh, of the three previous Battlefield games I played, uh, Battlefield 3, 4, and Battlefield Hardline, the campaign in Battlefield 1 is by far the best that I have played so far. Really good story behind it. Uh, the game looks freaking amazing. Not a whole lot of cutscenes, which is good because Battlefield Hardline was pretty much cutscene simulator. And I think I got through like three chapters of that and I was like, I'm done with this nonsense. Uh, Battlefield 4 was kind of the same. That, that one was a little bit more uh, comical, a little bit more goofy. But uh, this one uh, seems really good. Like I said, there's a good story to it. So we're going to start out here uh, with the first story in this uh, over the top. So let's go ahead and get started. And we'll just go ahead and restart the chapter because like I said, I've already played through it. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if, if it's because the official drivers uh, for Battlefield 1 are not out yet. But I've been getting a lot of frame skipping in the uh, campaign. Not sure what's going on with that, but... It's kind of fair warning. There will, probably will be uh, some frame skipping here and there. So you can kind of see it right there. The game just looks amazing. I've been looking at your papers. Don't worry about me, sir. I'm ready to do my bit for King and Country. Listen, son, you find forward and reverse when you're told you'll do all right for me. Grab those, would you? Come and meet Big Bess. We'll Big Bess. And our new driver, boys. I gotta say, I really like the tanks in Battlefield 1. I didn't tank a whole lot in Battlefield 4, and really didn't tank at all in Battlefield 3. But uh, the last couple seasons of competitive that I played, I was uh, the gunner and the repair bearer, if you will. And I think it really helped my situational awareness. She does not like it when you swear. Finch. Babies. I've done this before. Done what before? Mind your business with manners. Listen, don't worry. She'll look after you, yeah? All right, boys. This is the big one. Our orders are to punch through the German line, destroying artillery positions as we go, Pigeon. Yes, sir. That'll kind of finish my thought on that here in a little bit. Don't want to talk about the story. We'll advance on the French town of Cambrai, where I have been assured there is wine, women, and song. So you should enjoy that. Ah, I'm a man, it's wine. Jesus. Are we in safe hands or what, boys? All right, my boys. Remember, boys, do your jobs, take care of each other. Big Bess will take care of you. May the Lord have mercy on our souls. We get through this together, right, Edwards? Right, sir. Full ahead, driver! I 
Hands down the best looking battlefield game ever, period. Save your life. It's our only line of communication. Get up there, Edwards. Yes. Start to get the hang of it. What'd you do back home? Drove. A car. I was a chauffeur. I'll stop. This is far enough. Infantry will go in the first whistle. Then we follow. Heavens above. You ever seen anything like this? I have, I'm sorry to say. Listen. We're going to cut down the guns up by that windmill. Get our boys some room. That's our cue. Full ahead. Off we go. You know what I was saying a couple of minutes ago? I think all the gunning that I did in uh, Battlefield 4 really helped my situational awareness. And kind of helped me learn how to tank a, a whole lot better. I got one of ours. Eyes front, try. We're moving slow. Bench, what's the matter? Bench is fine, sir. It's a mud. Those field guns are just absolutely devastating. I just love the explosions in the campaign though, it's pretty freaking epic. At some point in time, I am going to have to adjust the sensitivity for uh, the tank here because that is crazy. Good job. But remember, 
Shot him big time. There we go. Prepare real quick before we move up. She's ready. Nice work. Get a move on. this tank in multiplayer yet. Messed around with the light tank a little bit. But definitely gonna have to give this tank a try. Get that man in Jerry's. sit here and kind of pillar this guy a little bit. Be nice if I'd stop whiffing. So that infantry up real quick. Again, real quick. Oh, oh, damn. I need you out there to take a look. Watch your nerves, Fincher. Edwards, get on and lend him a hand. No bueno. No bueno. It's gone! That kind of cutscene's 
kind of actually add something, you know, to the story. Keep it together, lads. Just get us moving. Get us moving. Get us moving. Get us Get us moving. Get us moving. Get us moving. Get us How many of those are we gonna take? Cannon's gonna slow us down. Keep it. Ouch. I just love how everything, there's just so much destruction. Just about everything can be destroyed. Close to freaking everything right now. Getting hammered here. Big Willie's farm.
I'll take a low road here. Got a boss. Tickets to the farm driver. Feel good. Go, go. Give them hell, lads. We're taking this position. everywhere. back here, Chief, huh? There we go. back here. Friendly got him, so we will push on. Cannon's gonna slow us down. Hit it! Land ship. Could use this rock to kind of pull her off of him. This where it gets just a little bit hairy. There's no real good way to get through here. They were waiting for us. Get us moving! Shit! Cop any traction! Push him back, lad! Get off that you can get out here! No traction! And we're stuck.
I know I said it before, but I just really love what they do with the cutscenes in this game. And this is kind of weird because you actually fly the pigeon. And it's kind of weird. But just the music in the game is just so amazing as well. Very, very well done overall. At least so far of what I've played of the campaign. I think they just do a really good job of storytelling. Message to PJ. Incoming fireman. Message coming. Doesn't seem too Open cheesy. Sir, new fire mission. It's Delton, sir. Here it comes, boys. Uh oh. Nice serving with you, lads. Yikes. Wow. It's like yeah, Townsend, sir. The devil tells in. Is that right? All we got out here is blind orders and chance. Which you'll do for us first, do you reckon? I'm sick of your whip, McManus. Aye, aye, sir. It will start it up. <laughs> I think they really did a good job of the characters too. You know, I definitely find myself interested in all the characters and kind of what role they play, and it's kind of emotionally invested in them. See more than 20 yards. We're pushing through. Edwards, I'll drive. You jump out and scout ahead. What? Don't be a hero, lad. Just do your job. I thought my job was to drive the tank. I'm gonna scout ahead with a pistol. Let's GG. all get through in one piece, eh? If you get into trouble, we'll be right behind you, lad. Guide Black Bess through the Orlon Wood. Okay. You know, I could guide her through, you know, if I was driving. To do that. Oh, 
this doesn't look good. God almighty, that's a field gun, Stuart. Edwards, have a recce up ahead. There's a gun you'll need to deal with it. If things go south, you'll come in blast. Otherwise, we'll bring best up when you give the signal. Okay. Sounds crazy, but here we go. two guys here probably more than that yep there's a third fourth fifth all right and i have a handgun and that's it yeah, this isn't gonna end well Ouch. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. There we go. Oh. Yeah, we're going to have to try flanking around a different way. But guys, that is going to wrap it up for the first episode of my Battlefield 1 single-player campaign playthrough. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch, helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please take a look around and consider subscribing now. But guys, until the next episode, stay safe out there, take care, and we'll be seeing you.